Right, let's talk about some jailbreak tweaks, shall we? Hello and welcome to P-Tech, and this video is all about iOS 12 jailbreak tweaks that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if you were lucky enough to stay on anything below iOS 12.1.1 and own the iPhone 10 and didn't upgrade to the 10s and the 10s Max, then you will know that jailbreak tweaks can make the iPhone a hundred times better. And the first thing that I fixed straight away with the jailbreak tweaks was the volume HUD. Everyone knows how annoying the stock HUD is. It just covers the screen. But with the first jailbreak tweak called Airify, that changes totally. Now, what Airify does is it removes the stock HUD and puts in a new one just below the notch and you can barely recognize it. It's really quite small, it's simple, it looks nice and clean and the best thing is that you can customize it as well so you can decide how long you want it to be on the screen for, if it pops down, if it shakes down, if it appears. There's quite a lot of options that you can use uh, for Airify so that is the tweak number one. The other tweak that I installed was called Callbar XS and what this one does again it removes the stock call feature. The tweak gives you a simple more 2019 look to the call bar and it allows you to carry on doing what you're doing on the phone when you make a phone call or you receive a phone call. So if someone calls you, you don't have to just wait, look at your phone and stop doing what you're doing. If you want to ignore the call, you can carry on going through Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is you're doing. It just doesn't get in the way. And the best thing about this app as well is that it is customizable. So you can choose how the app looks. You can choose between having the white background or a total black background. You can have it at the top of the phone, at the bottom of the phone. It's completely up to you. The next tweak that I installed was called Color Flow 4. And this completely changes what Spotify or Apple Music looks like. What it does is takes the album art and changes everything on the screen to look that colour. It also gives you some really nice waveforms when you're going through and picking your music as well. And the best thing, finally, it brings back album art for the lock screen. Googies 2, which I think I'm saying right, is the next tweak on the list. What Googies 2 does is it just replaces the notification icon that you get, that little red circle on top of all your apps when you get an unread notification. And what it does is it replaces the app name underneath the icon with exactly how many notifications that you've got for that certain app. And again, it's one of these ones which is quite customizable, so you can change it to exactly how you want it to look. Jellyfish is the next tweak, and it's another thing that changes what Apple won't, and that's the lock screen. It's probably the simplest tweak on the entire list. You can't customize it, you can't do anything with it. You download it, it is a paid tweak, but then it just makes the lock screen look so much better. It makes it look a little bit like the Galaxy S10 phones, and it just takes the date and time, moves it from the center of the screen, moves it over to the right, pops the weather on top, and that's jellyfish. Small Siri is another tweak that makes the phone a little bit easier to use when you want to interact with Siri. It's a little bit like Callbar XS where it replaces the full screen Siri and gives you this little bar which you can either have on the top of the screen which where I personally think it looks a bit better or you can have it at the bottom which I don't think works that well at all really. So when you want to try and interact with Siri and make it text or make it set alarms or anything like that you can still carry on using the phone without having Siri take up the entire screen. You might have noticed as well that all my icons are a little bit more rounded than the stock icons and that all comes through a tweak called Snowboard. You may have heard of Snowboard before and it's mainly used for adding themes to the iPhone but I quite like just the stock iPhone look and I don't really want to theme it too much but what I don't like is the look of the stock apps I think they're just too square and they're not that nice to look at so within snowboard you can resize the icons and change them a little bit now you can go all the way from the most harsh looking squares in the world to having them completely round so it's up to you you can change the size of the icons to make them really large or you can make them really small as well these next two tweaks work really well together actually they're called better CC XI and CC linker Firstly, Better CC XI lets you just customize your control center and lets you move the elements in the control center to wherever you like. You can see that I've got a few different squares at the side and my music is up top and I've just changed it around and given it a bit of a fresher new look. CC Linker, however, lets you link straight to a setting by long pressing on that setting in the control center. So for example, if you wanted to change the Wi-Fi or disconnect the Bluetooth, then all you have to do, go into the control center, long press on Wi-Fi, it takes you straight to it in the settings rather than having to exit the control center, then find your settings and go looking around for it. That's what CC Linker does. The last tweak that I'll mention in this video is called Residia 2. 
and this just changes the dated Cydia look and makes it look a little bit more modern, kind of like the App Store that we have for downloading your regular apps on the iPhone. It can also suggest tweaks for you as well, so when you're scrolling down, it'll tell you what tweaks it thinks you might want to install or what tweaks you might want to change or update. It makes it a lot better for scrolling through. It makes it a little bit more user-friendly so you can find tweaks that you wouldn't necessarily be able to find. And it also lets you add repos from directly in Cydia without having to type it out yourself. They were just 10 tweaks that I tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis on my iPhone 10. If you want to download any of them, then I'll leave a list of all the repos in the description below, along with a list of all the tweaks that I've mentioned in this video. If you want, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel as well, and then hopefully I'll see you on the next video. See ya!